Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. I've got a story here about how I averted a disaster while on a holiday. My daughter and I took a daddy-daughter trip and uh, we decided we would uh, start in New York City and see the sights and do some shopping there. So of course you go to 30 Rock, of course. And you get your obligatory picture taken, uh, you know, where the fountain is. And there I am, smiling away. Those days, I was wearing uh, glasses because um, I hadn't had laser surgery on my eyes yet. So I had prescription sunglasses, prescription regular glasses, and, uh, well, without them, you know, it was tough times. We went from New York to Berlin. Got to Berlin, of course, you take the iconic photo at the uh, Brandenburg Gate, and it was just after sunset. Perfect lighting, just incredible. Not a great photo, but still, the colors were so, so superb. The next day, check out the Berlin Wall. That's what you got to do when you go to Berlin. You got to see where it's, where was it? There isn't much of it left, and uh, I'd always wanted to see it in person. The thing I noticed about Berlin, cranes everywhere. Uh, construction, like you cannot believe, because so much of Berlin was cut in half with the Berlin Wall and the Death Strip. That is prime real estate, and so uh, photos here that I took were from the top of this TV tower that was in East Berlin, 110 stories up, and you can see down into these uh, courtyards uh, that, uh, that are in the middle of these buildings, the Spray River, and you see the cranes there on the lower right. Cranes everywhere. It's just, just incredible. Anyway, here is the Intrepid Traveler. Uh, I'm looking out uh, from 110 stories above. I've got my hat on. I've got my binoculars. I've got my camera. I've got my sunglasses. i got my regular glasses. What a guy. And uh, having a wonderful time. There's the TV tower from below. It's an iconic uh, item. Uh, you see it from all over the place in Berlin. Here's a place you have to go. Uh, this was in what was West Berlin. Kade Bay, the big department store. It's right beside the uh, church. That's still, still a bit, a bit of it's still standing. The ruins there from the Second World War. This church was bombed out, as was the entire city, and they left that behind as a reminder of what Berlin once looked like. But back to the Kade Bay store. Go to the top floor, and they have restaurants there where you can get a bite to eat, or you can grab stuff like this here. Uh, you can check out the pastry section and uh, grab yourself a nice piece of cake and a nice latte or cappuccino or whatever and just relax and talk about your day and what you're seeing in Berlin. Boy, the Germans sure know how to eat. Let me tell you, this was absolutely spectacular. Here's a shot of me the next morning, uh, just uh, a block away from the Hilton where we were staying. And uh, we went to a coffee shop and had a latte, and then I ordered the typical German breakfast, uh, breakfast of champions, cake. Cake and coffee. My daughter had a croissant and some marmalade. Absolutely wonderful. We were staying at this place right here, the Hilton Hotel, in what was formerly East Berlin. Very cool. This building was uh, built out after the re reunification. Gorgeous hotel, uh, perfectly located. Really nice place. A nice lobby. Excellent service, uh, full, uh, all languages. I mean, they can handle anybody from, from North America to from to Russia to Italy to Spain. You, 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 you just speak your language and they'll take care of you. It's not a problem. We were in a room like this. We had uh, twin beds. When we left, I made the fatal mistake of leaving behind my container containing my prescription sunglasses. And we flew to London and got on the Norwegian Jade at Southampton. And uh, I realized in London that I had left my sunglasses behind, couldn't find them anywhere. And I got on the phone to the folks at the Hilton Hotel, told them the dilemma that we were going to be in, uh, in Lisbon, Portugal here uh, three days later. And they said, no problem, we'll call Federal Express. We'll have the uh, glasses sent to your ship, the Norwegian Jade, at port in Lisbon so that they'll be waiting for you when you get there. Unbelievable. The folks at the Hilton Hotel took real good care of us. Uh, not a problem at all. A FedEx came by. They picked up the glasses. They shipped them over to Lisbon, uh, Portugal. And uh, we got back from our, our sightseeing in, in downtown Lisbon and came back to the ship. I went right to the desk, uh, the front desk there, the hotel desk, and there they were, my prescription sunglasses. <laughs> They're like $450 to buy these things. I was so happy. The rest of the cruise was a success, and the folks at Norwegian took good care of us, and so did the folks at the Hilton and FedEx, and I can't thank them enough. Of course, after we got the sunglasses back, check into our room, 
what do you do? Well, you gotta eat. So uh, you're on a cruise ship, go and get a bite. And so here's uh, a little dessert at the Italian restaurant that we had. Loved it. I hope you liked the story. It was a it was a great trip for my daughter and I. I loved it. Please subscribe and uh, hope you like the show. Take care.